Okay, so here we have an aeroponic display. This display is made by uh, General Hydroponics. Um, it's fairly easy to set up. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, this general unit is, um, again, it's all hydroponics, but this is aeroponic display. This is the reservoir right here. Um, this contains all your water and your nutrients. Uh, this little drain plug allows you to empty your reservoir so that you can put fresh water and nutrients in, um, usually about once a week. If I lift this lid up here, you're going to notice that we have uh, plenty of space in there for water and nutrients and about a 700 gallon per minute pump. Um, this pump is going to move the water up this oh, really? main line right here and into this manifold. This manifold is going to split into these three sections, so you'll see it'll deliver to this one, you'll see it'll deliver to the middle end one, and it'll deliver to the one on the other end. Uh, this manifold will reduce down to a smaller line, uh, which is our sprinkler line. So as it reduces down into that sprinkler line, there's little holes, um, and that, sp that sprays the roots. It allows the roots to get plenty of oxygen and water and nutrients delivered to them without having to try and absorb them through soil. Um, these containers right here, that little PVC is adjustable so it can move up and down. Uh, this allows you to control how much water is flowing over your roots as it's draining back to the reservoir. So if you move it up, you're going to let more water soak onto those roots. If you lower it down, you're going to have less water traveling over those roots, which ultimately allows for more oxygen, um, which uh, gives you much more vigorous growth. So all that, once it drains through that PVC, is going to go right back into that reservoir. As we come down, these are your pots, so your roots are just going to grow right through those holes. Um, generally, there's a medium in there like clay balls or cocoa fiber or something like that just to hold your plant stable. Um, again, this, this tube runs all the way down to the end, so it um, allows every single one of these pots to get plenty of water onto the roots so they can grow to their maximum potential. Um, each one of these is actually set up exactly the same, so you can adjust how much water each one has depending on their root size, so you can definitely do kind of advancement. Um, smaller ones in the front, larger ones in the back, and so on. Um, this is kind of an overhead view, so you can see about how many plant sites you can have in this container, and um, it really doesn't take up much space at all. Uh, you can grow these as high as you want if you want to attach some trellis to them, or you can keep them very show short and do a very fast turnaround, depending on what type of veggies you're growing. This doesn't really take up much space. Like I said, you can see about how sized, uh, how big they are by the size of my hand. Um, and this is just three. You can attach multiple sections of this, this machine together. So this is about how far apart each plant will be spaced, which gives them plenty of room for their roots. Um, you're not going to really worry about them tangling up too much. They're going to flow the same direction. Uh, your pot containers are big enough to hold a pretty healthy size stock. And there you go. That's kind of the, the general idea of an aeroponics display. Thank you, guys.